if you've launched a course recently, there's so many tools, there's Kajabi, there's all these platforms that allow you to make launching a course super easy. Mm -hmm. But when you launched it, what was your go-to method of getting the videos out there, recording them, putting them online? Was it just you put stuff together or did something exist? It was just a WordPress website. Okay. There's a WordPress website with like a paid login feature. Okay. So I didn't use any of those course things. I also didn't do video. So back then I just did like just text. text. Okay. I made this one giant Google doc of like link building opportunities. So it was a little interactive and a little bit more resource driven, but yeah, that was, that was 2012 when the course came out. So. Um, the reason I ask is Nowadays, if you look online, everyone has some course to sell yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's the the barrier to entry to build a course nowadays is nothing, right? But having that foresight of doing it uh, 10 years ago, 10 plus years ago, it just highlights understanding audience, understanding who you, where you have distribution, understanding what they need, right? Um, yeah. But I like that picture. Yeah, those early days, I was the, I was the most, I did things for like all the right reasons in the sense that I was like, okay, enough people hit me up saying, do you have something more and more in depth? And then I was like, okay, I guess I'll build something. You know, I, the ideal entrepreneur journey is you see a need and you yeah, just create yeah. something for it. But back then it was literally just that as a, as a 19 year old kid. Nice. Uh,